So the topic that we are going to discuss today is Wien Bridge. We were discussing about the various AC bridges uh, in the electronic instrumentation measurement subject. Okay, in today's video we will be discussing about Wien Bridge. I am sure that all of you guys have heard of have heard about the Wien Bridge because there is an oscillator called Wien Bridge oscillator. So if you have studied or heard about the oscillator, you may have heard of this Wien Bridge. So this Wien Bridge is just like all the other type of the bridges in we actu uh, actually do the balancing and we will be finding some unknown components value whether it is resistance or inductance or capacitance. What we basically do is we balance the bridge, we apply the balancing equation, then we find the value of unknown component. Okay, So if you want to write an examination on any of these bridges, the point you should be stressing on is the balancing of the bridge. Okay, So when the bridge is balanced, you have to apply the balancing condition and the balancing condition uh, you have to apply and you will be getting the value of unknown components, whether it is inductance or resistance or any component. From that equation, you will be getting. Okay. So, oh, that is a very basic of all the AC bridges. Now, moving on to the Wien bridge. So, Wien bridge is one of the common type of bridges. It is consisting of four resistances. You can see that there is four resistances. There is R3, there is Rx. Rx is an unknown resistance. Okay. Then R4 and then R2. So, there are four resistances and two capacitors. Okay. So, that is the uh, main components present in a Wien bridge. And also, there is a galvanometer connected. And by detecting a null in the galvanometer, we find that the bridge is balanced. Only when there is no current passing through the galvanometer or when the galvanometer shows a null deflection, only then we can apply the balancing equation bridge balancing equation okay so that is the component details now the wien bridge what is its use or what is its main purpose is it is used for precision measurement of capacitance in terms of resistance and frequency so we have discussed another bridge called sharing bridge which is also used for finding the capacitance here what we do is here we find the capacitance in terms of resistance and frequency okay so that is the main point here we find the resist capacitance in terms of the resistance and frequency okay and also it is used for measuring of audio frequency okay so it is used for measuring of audio frequency also and also we can represent the capacitance in terms of resistance and frequency. And another important feature is that Wien bridge doesn't require the values of R and C to be equal. Okay. So, it doesn't require the resistance and the capacitance value to be equal. The capacitance and the resistances here. It need not be equal also. And at and also at some frequency, the, re, the reactants of the series combination R2C2. So, there is a series combination R2C2. The reactance on this branch will be an exact multiple of the reactance of this parallel combination. So, there is a ratio followed by the reactances on this branch and this branch. Okay. And if the two R3 and R4. So, you can see there are two resistances R3 and R4. And if we adjust them to some ratio. So, this uh, already follows a ratio. This reactance already follows a ratio. And if we adjust these two resistances and we balance them to, that is we adjust them to some ratio, then the bridge is balanced. Okay. So, what we have to actually do here is, see these two reactances already follows a ratio and we have to, we have to adjust these two resistances to follow that ratio and in that case follow a ratio so in that case what happens is the galvanometer will show a null deflection okay so at the end we want a balancing condition for that we have to make some adjustments in the resistances there is a variable resistance here also and there is here also so you can vary this r4 and you can make a ratio between r3 and r4 right also, there is already a ratio between these two branches. So, we just have to 
concentrate on this arm so you have to balance the bridge at the end of the day that is your purpose you have to balance the bridge and you have to give a null deflection on the galvanometer okay and when the bridge is balanced the equations are the angular frequency omega okay so the angular frequency omega will be equal to 1 by rx r2 cx c2 i'm sure that you have seen this equation this is a very famous equation or you can write so this is actually not omega this is omega square okay so omega square is equal to 1 by r rx r2 cx c2 so this is actually depending on these two branches rx r2 cx c2 okay or you can write omega is equal to 1 by square root of rx r2 cx c2 okay or else you can write omega in terms of frequency you can write 1 by 2 sorry omega is equal to 2 pi f so 2 pi f is equal to 1 by square root of rx r2 cx c2 or you can write f is equal to 2 pi into rx r2 cx and c2 okay so this is one relation for frequency in terms of normal frequency it is this and in terms of angular frequency it is the relation and also the relation between the various components is that is in relation between the capacitors and resistances is cx by c2 is equal to r4 by r3 minus r2 by rx okay so these are the two important equations one is this and the next one is this so while explaining i remember that while explaining the mean bridge oscillator i have explained about these two equations okay so this equation is actually coming from the wien bridge its balancing condition and when you apply the value of the impedances so there is one impedance for this branch for this branch for this branch and also for this branch you have to apply in the equation is said here it is is at 3 is at 2 so is at 3 is at 2 yeah is at 3 is at 2 equal to here it will be since it is 4 is at 4 is at x okay that is you have to take the product of the opposite branch impedances and you can equate them is at 3 is at 2 equal to is at 4 is at x now is at 3 is the impedance of this branch is at 2 is the impedance of this entire branch okay you have to take this and this they are in series combination is at 4 is here and is at x is the impedance of this branch you have to apply it in this equation you will you have to find the value of is at 3 is at 2 is at 4 and is at x and you have to apply in the equation and by applying you will be getting this relation okay so these are the two important relations anyway and when the value of r2 equal to rx and c2 is equal to cx that is when these two resistors and capacitors if they are equal then the equation will change as here it will be rx into rx so it will be rx square and cx into cx it will be cx square so you can take it as rx and cx so f will be equal to 1 by 2 pi rx cx or simply you can write it as rc okay so the frequency will be 1 by 2 pi rc if the value of r2 equal to rx and c2 equal to cx in that condition this is the frequency of a wien bridge okay and this relation if you if you apply in this relation these two conditions you will be getting r4 equal to 2r3 okay so these are the two relations you are getting when you apply the, these two conditions okay so this is all about the wien bridge the most important thing is the equations you should be knowing because only if you know what is wien bridge you can actually study the wien bridge oscillator in detail okay so we have discussed about the structure of wien bridge and we have directly moved to the equation we have not uh, found the value of z1 z2 
that is z uh, z3 z2 z4 and zx we have not found because that is not actually required that is a derivation how you get this equation okay so you uh, can find the value of z3 z2 and z4 and zx and you, and you can apply in this equation this will be our balancing equation in that if you apply you will be getting these two equations okay so that's all about the wien bridge so the wien bridge is used for finding of capacitance in terms of resistance and frequency and there is some frequency in which this wien bridge is operating and when r2 equal to rx and c2 equal to cx this will be the frequency or else this will be the frequency of operation of the wien bridge okay so i'm really hoping that you understood the circuit and the explanation and also the equations most importantly okay so you need these two equations these two equations are very important one and two okay it is very important and also these equations in the boxes are also very important because questions can come numerical questions can come come from this area okay so if you are preparing for some competitive examinations please to concentrate on these equations also and also the circuit so if you found the video useful please to give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching